YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Will, back in the building with another video. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving into a brand new microphone that's been making waves into the audio world. Introducing the Five Fine Ample Tank Tank 3. Yes, that's what it's really called, Ample Tank Tank 3. The Tank 3 is an XLR USB dynamic microphone. This mic is compatible with Mac and Windows computers and is also a plug and play option. Whether you're a podcaster, streamer, content creator, or just someone looking to up their audio game, this may be the microphone you've been waiting for. I have reviewed several Fafa microphones in the past and the price versus performance is always top notch. Speaking of the price, this mic will run you about $80.99 USD at the current pricing of making this video. In this video, I'll be showcasing the Ample Tank Tank 3, showcasing all of its features, also sharing some sound tests from XLR versus USB, comparing it to its predecessor, the Fafon K688, and sharing some examples from the Fafon AM8. All of these microphones are kind of in the same similar category. They're all dynamic microphones. Phones. They just have a different kind of look and feel to them. So I'm kind of interested to see if there's like a sound difference between the three or if it's just more of the look of the microphones that really matter in this scenario. This should be a pretty fun video for anybody who's in the market for a brand new microphone at a budget price. The main focus will be the Ample Tank Tank 3 as I have already reviewed the K688 and the Fafon AM8. Now Fafon did provide this microphone for this review, but everything in this video is my opinions and what I think about the product. Before we dive in, if you're new here and enjoy content about budget filmmaking gear, content creation, and budget tech, maybe consider hitting the subscribe button so that way you can come back and check out future videos. Let's go ahead and jump into the unboxing of the Ample Tank Tank 3. Let's go. First thing you're gonna get is your user manual. So, you know, you know the vibes. You also get a USB-A to USB-C uh, cable. This is for the data to connect the microphone to your computer. And the cable is actually super long at about eight feet. So, um, pretty generous cable length on this guy. And last but not least, you get the Tank 3 dynamic microphone. First thing I noticed off the gate is the weight of it, which is always reassuring for a professional microphone. Right here up front, you can see the grill area. Even the grill feels pretty premium. The overall aesthetic is clean and minimalistic, perfect for any setup. I really like this matte black look because it kind of reduces fingerprints versus some other microphones that I have here in my studio. The microphone has a tap to mute button on top next to the logo and a mic gain dial and headphone dial. On the back of the mic, you have an XLR and USB-C input and a headphone jack. There is a knob right here on the side that you can adjust the tension to so you can lock in the angle of the microphone once you set it up on the microphone stand. At the bottom of the microphone handle, there is a 5 8 and a 3 8 inch threading to attach this to a mic stand. One thing to note is this microphone does not come with a table stand or a boom stand, so you will have to purchase that separately. I will leave some links for the low profile microphone stand that I have from Fafon and also a generic one. So you have some options because you're definitely gonna need a stand with this mic. I do wanna show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison between the Fafine K688 and the Fafine Ample Tank Tank 3. Both of these microphones have mic gain knobs and headphone volume knobs. They're both XLR and USB input microphones. They also both have tap to mute. The differences between both of these microphones is the K688 does have a pop filter right here that covers the microphone. And also this one has a shock mount. Super interested to see if its predecessor, its bigger brother, brings more to the table than the K688. We're gonna go ahead now and jump into the computer so we can set this up and do some microphone tests so we can figure out if this is a good option. Let's go. So the boom arm I'm using right now is the Fafon BM88, which is this really cool low profile um, microphone boom arm. Based on the way that this microphone is made, I could either boom it like this if I wanted to, or I could boom it like that. This microphone stand, it has hidden compartment right here, so I could actually hide the cables 
coming up to the microphone. If you wanna use this as a primary headphone solution, you can by selecting the Fafa microphone as an output. And then any sound on your computer's output like music or any type of sound effect watching a YouTube video will play through the headphone jack out of this port. Right now you're listening to the Tank 3 using its USB-C uh, audio interface. I have the mic gain right now on the mic gain is actually like at the max. Notice how I am talking kind of off to the side. If I talk directly and I say PP, plosive, 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 you can hear like the hard plosive sound in the P. It's recommended to kind of talk off to the side. So when I say plosive, the air is going past the front of the capsule. So it is avoiding that popping sound through the mic. It is recommended to use this mic at two to six inches away right now, about three inches. So if I move back, uh, you notice that it's, you can hear me less pretty much. Uh, and then as I get closer, I sound better. Now, if I get really up close on it, um, you can now hear it even louder, but let me back up off of it. Let me back up off y'all, my bad. <laughs> this is a dynamic microphone which uses a cardioid pickup pattern. You see how I'm talking into the front of this microphone is because that's where the capsule is. This microphone actually drowns out sound from the back and around on the sides and it pick up mostly from the front. Now you see as it gets back here, it's harder to hear. If I talked into the mic like this, it sounds horrible. Same if you were like going to talk into it from the side. This is a microphone check of the Fifine Tank 3 dynamic microphone. Let me know what do you guys think. To me, it sounds pretty good as I'm monitoring this in my headphones. Gain knob is right here. So as I twist the gain knob right now, I am about halfway uh, with gain knob using USB-C and I can see it hitting my sound level at like negative 18. So you wouldn't want to do this. You would want to kind of turn it up. And I feel like kind of 75% of the way could be the sweet spot, depending on like how loud you talk. There's also a tap. tap it and then now you can hear me again um, I did just notice like when I touch the microphone you can hear and let's do like a keyboard test so I'm randomly like typing playing video games uh, can you hear that I'm kind of hitting the keyboard hard purposely uh, with the this mic stand so i'm wondering how does that sound now i'm using the fafine ample tank tank 3 dynamic microphone using this xlr connection going into my scarlet solo audio interface we're testing it out this way to notice if there is a difference between xlr sound quality versus um usb sound quality one thing to note about this when i'm using this xlr if i turn down the microphone gain knob it doesn't affect my actual recording everything goes through the audio interface so to raise or decrease the gain it would be on the audio interface not the mic itself same for the mute function it still is recording with xlr so just keep that in mind the headphone knob rather does still work if you're monitoring the xlr so that works but the gain knob doesn't work or the tap to mute but anyways microphone tests of this um keyboard test again oh oh, oh let me stop doing that let me make sure i come here and kind of type in tests click in the mouse um i wonder if it's blocking it out but again this microphone is designed to block out most audio quality from the back of the microphone and sides only picks up from the front uh so this is good for like if you have a gaming pc with really loud fans this type of microphone can help eliminate some of that unnecessary unwanted sound 
while you're like streaming or gaming. Another thing to notice is this microphone is a dynamic microphone, so it does not require phantom power. So you don't need to enable like a 48 volt on your audio interface. This is the raw audio coming out of this microphone. So let me know what do you guys think about that. I just switched to the Fifine K688 dynamic microphone and we're doing a sound test currently using USB. I am monitoring the audio right now and I am at negative six like I was on the other one. So I wonder if there is a sound difference here between this microphone and the other one. So I will say based on the uh, Tank 3 microphone, I did love that the audio faders and the headphone knob was on the side versus the back. I'm like trying to figure out where this knob is to adjust the volume and I can't. But anyways, this is a mic test of the Fafan K688 using its USB plug in now we're going to switch to xlr to test that out now i am using the fifon k688 dynamic microphone through the scarlet solo audio interface so this is a microphone test using its xlr connection same concept and principle applies when it comes to the tap to mute function it's not going to work or the gain knob now is on the xlr interface so right now I can, I'm at about negative six recording in here and my audio interface mic gain is about 75% of the way. And that's what this sounds like. And I'm about three inches, same principle here. And if I go backwards, uh, this may be about six inches further away, further away. Uh, let's do a test around the mic. Same thing, this is a cardioid pickup pattern, so it's gonna pick up mostly from the front capsule. And let me make sure that I'm off to the side so the plosives don't peek through the microphone. But yes, um, same principle, let's do a little keyboard test here. So I wonder if that's blocking out more. This microphone, I love it for the aesthetic. You got that glowing RGB deliciousness. Um, sound quality to me, this one sounds a little bit more lower in, um, but we'll have to confirm that when we listen back. But one thing with this microphone is you can accidentally try to like move this microphone around and then I mute myself and then I, you know, they're like, hey, I can't hear you. Oops, I'm muting myself. Same concept here where there are headphone volume and headphone volume seems to be the same and same for mic gain, mic gain. <laughs> right now I'm at max and I'm kind of about mm, negative three on this and I it feels like 75% of the way is the sweet spot for all of these microphones but this is a sound test of that. Same thing, it is a cardioid pickup pattern which picks up most of the sound from the front capsule right here and avoid sound from the back. Now using XLR input with the Fafon AM8 dynamic microphone, tap to mute button does not affect your audio going out or the mic gain, uh, headphone gain is still being able to be used. I still have this on about 75% of the way on the audio interface. I wonder if it sounds any better, but this is a mic test of the Fafon AM8 using its XLR. But listening back to all of those sound samples, here's the verdict. USB-C on the Tank 3 sounds kind of flat to me, in my opinion, which could be a good thing in a way when it comes to enhancing the sound. Using the Tank 3 with XLR, it does sound a little bit more natural to me. Right now, you're listening to the Tank 3 using its USB-C uh, audio interface. Now, I'm using the Fafine Ample Tank Tank 3 dynamic microphone using this XLR connection on the Tank 3 XLR for the win in my opinion. The K688 using USB sounds natural to me, not bass heavy or mid-rangey. 
it just sounds kind of like well balanced. I didn't really notice a difference with the K688 using its XLR versus its USB. It's very crispy, very clear, and I kind of like the vibe of that sound. And the AM8 XLR sounds very similar to the USB, so I really didn't notice a difference in sound recording. The AM8 seems a little bit more bass heavy when compared to the K688 versus the Tank 3. Now I'm using the Fafine Ample Tank Tank 3 dynamic microphone using this XLR connection. Now I am using the Fafon K688 dynamic microphone through the Scarlett Solo audio interface. Now using XLR input with the Fafon AM8 dynamic microphone. With all of these microphones being dynamic microphones, what I do notice is they mostly pick up sound within that two to like eight inch range. Uh, once you kind of start getting further away, it's hard to hear. What's good about these dynamic microphones is they mostly pick up your voice and kind of block out most of your surroundings. They do have that very slightly different frequency response, but all of this stuff could be edited and software. So since they all kind of sound very similar in a way, to me that really means that you're probably gonna make a choice based on the aesthetic of the microphone itself. I feel like the Tank 3 has a more like podcaster kind of radio look. The same for the K688. This kind of gives me like voiceover, podcaster and then when you talk about the am8 this one is more like kind of modern definitely gamer s with the rgb this one has color options so i have the white one but they also make this in black and pink there are like pros and cons and differences with all the touch sensitive microphone buttons are kind of easy to accidentally mute yourself when you're just adjusting versus this one is like a physical press button. You have the shock mount on the K688. These two other microphones, they don't have the shock mount. I don't think it really matters to be honest with you, but theoretically, when you tap it on your desk, having the shock mount will absorb some of, you know, the rock and shake. I think this one is the best position when it comes to knobs and uh, buttons, the mic gain and the volume knobs are uh, on the underbelly of the microphone. You can see the mute. I feel like the placement of this, like the yoke of this kind of gets in the way of changing. I mean, at the same time, when it comes to these knobs, I kind of feel like you're just gonna set it up and then that's gonna be where you leave it. The AM8 right now is on sale for $54.99. K688 is about $51.09. The Tank 3 is rack rated at $89.99. And as of today, it dropped down to $79.99. So this one is the most expensive. And then these are pretty much very similar in cost. These microphones are always on sale, but all in all, like you really can't go wrong with any three of these different choices, which are all pretty good budget options. This one does come with a tabletop stand. These two, you will have to either buy a tabletop stand or buy like a cheap boom stand to get started. So that's something to consider as well. Tank 3 does not have a pop filter, but these two do have the filter on it. I don't really know if it makes a huge difference, but again, it's something just to kind of note about similarities and differences of all three Fafon offerings. All right, so let's wrap this up. Pros and cons of the Tank 3. My first pro here is this microphone has a really solid build quality. It's super heavy. It's literally built like a tank. I feel like if I drop this a few times, I'm still gonna be good. The next pro here is gonna be the very affordable price for like 80 bucks, 70 bucks, you're gonna get a really good sound of microphone. The only downside is you will have to purchase a boom stand or like a tabletop stand separately. Another thing with this microphone that's a pro here is it has USB plus XLR. So you can start off using USB and then one day when you wanna purchase an upgrade to an audio interface, you can still continue to use this same microphone. Another pro here is the microphone and volume knob is on the side, so it's easier to access and know which one you're twisting. 
and I really like the position of the mic mute which is actually a physical button so you it's kind of hard to accidentally mute yourself the cons with this microphone is I will say it's like missing the shock mount again I don't know if it really makes a huge difference and then also like not having the pop filter. That is my verdict with the Tank 3. Overall, I'm very impressed with what Fafon has done. The Tank 3 is a fantastic choice for anybody looking to upgrade their audio without breaking the bank. What do you guys think? Did you guys see any differences, similarities between these three microphones? Do you think any of them sound better than the other? Let me know down in the comment section below. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making this video and comparing all of these microphones and testing them out and all that. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you want to pick any of these microphones up, I will leave links down in the description for you to check these out. I will also leave the links for the reviews I've done on both of these microphones in case you want to learn some more and watch some more content from me. I got you. Link down in the description. With all that being said, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a boy a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I'm going to holla at y'all next time in my next video. Deuces.